wanted to make this video in regards to crankcase venting on uh, Milwaukee 8 bikes. There's, uh, I started to do a kind of a little hack that I saw online. Uh, let me think, uh, what was it? Uh, Blockhead, I think, YouTube channel. And uh, what they do is, uh, my air cleaner setup is a little different. Um, uh, not not so much, but I have uh, I have this setup coming out of the bolts from the air cleaner. Uh, this is for crankcase blow-by, and what people are doing is uh, hooking up a couple of uh, hoses to the uh, the output of the oil up here, which are on this air cleaner right here. Are these bolts here? Okay. So what happens is there's a hole in them, so the oil goes in them, and then it actually goes into this, and then into this system, and then the oil goes into this tube and gets sucked into the intake. And my intake is full of oil from that blow-by uh, that basically burns and gets in the top of your piston, and my air filter is also... I don't know if you can see in there, but it's pretty full of oil. Okay, so what people do is got two options. Well, there's, there's a, uh, way more than two options, but one of the options is uh, we rewrote these ho uh, hoses. Instead of going into the intake right here, uh, you run a hose that comes down. And what they're doing is they're venting it into the top of the transmission case which I'm finding uh, a lot of people are saying that the, their top cover on their transmission is plastic. Mine is metal. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't know. Maybe it's a year thing. Mine's a 2017 Street, street Glide Special. Uh, this is some type of... Uh, it's pretty heavy. I think it's heavier than aluminum. Maybe it is aluminum. Magnesium, maybe. I don't know. But uh, And there's this gasket in here. So what they're doing is uh, drilling a hole in this top cover right in this area here into this open chamber. And then they will uh, make a relief gouge right here. Let me see if I can get the camera in a little better. You can see how there's kind of like a half moon right there on that other one. What they'll do is they'll put one in here to allow the fumes coming out of that hose to get into this area, which this center area right here has a vent outwards. And uh, so that allows the pressure to release and the oil doesn't travel and make its way all around. The oil just gets deposited in here, which there's a hole down inside here that the oil goes back into the crankcase. So kind of just recycles the oil that comes out so you don't have to burn it through your, your motor, which is a great idea. Uh, and I just watched a video on them doing it. So I'm like, I'm going to do this. So I pulled my cover off and uh, I just kind of came up with an idea of how I'm going to do it rather than grinding a notch in, this tr uh, in the transmission case itself. What I'm going to do is, which is essentially the same thing, but without doing any type of permanent damage to your, well, not necessarily damage. I would call it a permanent modification to your, uh, transmission housing uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gasket that runs in between here and so it's going to be coming into this chamber right here and we want it to get through this we want to get it from here over to here to be able to vent out so uh, what like I said what people are doing is notching so right in this area there's a hole that allows it to go in there what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a uh, uh, gasket punch set. Well, it's not even just a gasket punch. It's just a hollow punch set. And I'm going to take one of these puppies that punches, cuts little circles. And I'm going to probably maybe two, two. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just do two. I'm just going to cut two little holes in the gasket in between here which the gasket's still going to be completely sealed around. It's not going to affect that. You know, technically you could cut all of this out and 
Whereas this is enclosed, I'm going to have to put a hole in here anyways to allow... Oh, actually, will I need to? No. Yes. I need to cut this area out to allow the, the oil that does go in there to be able to drain back down. Uh, so I am going to do that. We've got to cut, cut some, uh, an opening in this section here. And like I said, I'm just going to chop... Actually, I don't even need to do that then. I'm just going to cut this gasket section out a little bit here. So when we put this back on, it actually doesn't seal in between here. So in between this chamber and this chamber will be open enough to allow that the fumes to, to get here to this opening and vent out. Sorry if that's confusing, guys, but uh, rather than cutting, you can see right here where, where, see right there where there's kind of a difference. This is This gasket doesn't seal all the way across to allow air to go from this chamber to this chamber. I'm basically going to do the same thing over here, but instead of cutting the metal, I'm going to cut the gasket, which will allow that little bit of space, just enough, I think, for the uh, fumes to escape. So, and again, we got to put a, we want to put a uh, hole, put a couple of holes in this to allow the oil to, to recycle back down into the crankcase. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to play a little bit of their video here and how they actually have it set up. Uh, this is, I guess, the plastic cover that some Harleys have. And this actually just has like a seal all the way around uh, the chamber that we're talking about. So this particular chamber here, uh, is wide open as opposed to my gasket that's closed. So it really doesn't matter how much. I'm just going to punch a bunch of holes in there to allow the oil to get down there. And we'll still have the outer seal so it won't leak. And uh, But this is this is the setup that they do right here. And see if I get a... Right here is where they're actually notching the metal. Right here just like the other one, and that allows that to get to there. So, like I said, instead of uh, making permanent uh, notches in the transmission itself, I'm gonna go ahead and do it in the gasket instead. So, let's see how this works out. All right, so here's what I came up with. I put three holes to open this section up to allow the oil to drain back that comes in from the top, and it will be able to drain back into the crankcase. And then I put a hole here in here right on this seam which is basically going to create an opening between this chamber and this chamber right here and here and i think that should be plenty enough to allow the the uh, pressure to release into this side and be able to vent out so uh, let's give that a shot and i think that's going to work out pretty good and no permanent damage worst case i have an issue with it i just get a new gasket and everything goes back to normal all right here's my version what i did I ended up using the Zerk fitting drilled out or just ground off the edge to get the spring and everything out. You can see it poking right through there. Use some Loctite as a sealant and uh, drill in a tap for the fittings. And so now we got that nice, uh, nice fitting that's popped through that we can attach the hose on. And uh, Now with this gasket being here, you can see by having that cut out, these two circles, that's going to allow the vapors to go from chamber to chamber to get over to this side that we want it to be able to vent out through there. And this is just to allow the oil to drip down back into the, the, uh, the engine. So. Hopefully that works out. If you guys are looking to upgrade to this type of cover from your cover, I don't know, you know maybe what model, maybe because it's a Street Glide Special or just a certain year and they changed it to plastic uh, in the later years because this is the first year, the Milwaukee uh, 8, but this is the part number of the, looks like magnesium one, I believe it is, 34800022 is the part number of this, uh, this unit here instead of the plastic one. I would definitely prefer this over plastic. So um, I believe they make an upgrade. Harley makes an upgrade. So maybe maybe somebody changed this out in the past. I don't know. I bought my bike used with only, uh, I think, 3,000 miles on it. So who knows if it's been changed or not. But all right, I'm going to put this back on the bike.